Good morning. Welcome to your daily weather briefing at 10 a.m. We have warm and humid conditions out there this morning. A heat index already of 98 degrees. Going to see those heat indices, excuse me, up to 105 degrees for the afternoon hours. Going to see a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon hours today as well. Look at the conditions. Last 24 hours across the Atlantic region saw warm conditions to hot conditions across the area. Ocean City was the cool spot at 88 degrees. Pax River the warm spot at 95. Here at Wild we are at 92, so well above normal across the region. Overnight lows last night were above normal as well. 76 degrees was an overnight low here at Wallops. Ocean City at 71. Last 24 hours, just seeing some pop-up showers and thunderstorms across the region with only a trace here at Wallops and all locations not reporting any precipitation. As of 9 a.m., we are seeing anywhere from partly cloudy to sunny skies. Temperatures in the lower 80s here at Wallops. We were partly cloudy with 83 degrees as of 9 a.m. We're up to 88 as of 10 a.m. this morning. Looking at our sounding from 12Z this morning, our freezing level is at 14,600 feet. Our winds are light throughout the column, uh, 10 knots out of the west-southwest at 1,000 feet, and also 10 knots at 20,000 feet. Those are the two peak winds. Wind direction is varying anywhere from the uh, northwest to the north, and then back up to the uh, south, the south-southwesterly component at 25,000 feet this morning. Looking at our surface observations as well as our infrared satellite and radar, uh, just seeing some ground clutter on the radar this morning. Not going to see any precipitation develop until most likely afternoon today uh, with some showers and thunderstorms popping up mainly north of the Wallops region. And I see uh, temperatures rising up into the lower 90s today across the region and uh, as well we'll have our wind switching out of the southwest to southeast for the afternoon hours. Looking at our surface analysis, as of 12Z this morning, we have a ridge of high pressure along the east coast giving us these warm conditions. We'll have a uh, cold front moving through the region tomorrow, and that's going to provide us with the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours for our Friday. Looking at our prog charts the next few days, here's our Thursday midday planner, just some hot and humid conditions across the region. As I mentioned, a slight chance of a pop-up thunderstorm. Thursday night we'll have uh, very similar conditions than we've seen the last few nights. Warm and uncomfortable conditions for the overnight hours. Temperatures in the mid-70s for overnight lows. I see our Friday a.m. planner. Uh, very similar conditions. Not going to see this cold front move through until our uh, Friday evening into our Saturday morning. And here is our Friday afternoon. Seeing the showers and thunderstorms lining up along the stationary boundary as this frog chart has uh, provided this area of convection across the central portions of the Delmarva Peninsula. Do you expect uh, tomorrow afternoon to be more of a pop-up variety shower thunderstorm activity and possibly uh, seeing some heavier rainfall with any showers that do pop up over Wallops. Then our Saturday planner will have an area of high pressures trying to build down from the north as uh, this cold front stalls out just south of our region. That's going to give us a fairly brisk northeasterly flow, especially during the afternoon hours, as well as a chance of some showers and even an embedded thunderstorm on Saturday. Looking down at our risk chart for today, we'll have green conditions for our precipitation and lightning. Uh, looking like during the afternoon hours, we will see some showers pop up and possibly a thunderstorm to the north, and that could provide us a, a lightning advisory if it does get close enough to the 10 nautical mile uh, range. But right now it looks like only about 15% chance of seeing lightning within 10 nautical miles. A high today will be 91 degrees, a low tonight 76. We'll see heating the seas above 100 degrees for the afternoon hours, so make sure if you're outside and working, drink plenty of water. Our winds will be out of the southeast this afternoon, 6 to 11 knots turning south during the evening hours, and then back to the southwest at 3 to 6 knots during the overnight time period. Our 24-hour terminal forecast will have partly cloudy skies out there uh, this morning, seeing an extra ceiling at uh, 5,000 feet, but that should uh, diminish when we move into the late morning hours and the afternoon hours, just seeing some partly cloudy skies, slight chance of shower, a 15% chance of thunderstorm from 12 local to 1,800 local, and then overnight tonight we just have a slight chance of patchy fog developing, especially where it does rain uh, during the day today, and then by tomorrow morning we'll have uh, mostly sunny, partly cloudy skies. Our tides are normal. Looking at Friday into Saturday, Friday is going to be partly to mostly cloudy, a chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm that could last in the evening as well. I have a high of 87 degrees. And then Friday night we'll have mostly cloudy skies, chances shower and thunderstorm, a low of 74. 
have a yellow for precipitation and lightning. And then for Saturday, while we'll mostly cloud to overcast skies, a chance of a shower, a slight chance of a thunderstorm on Saturday as we'll have northeasterly flow developing. That should limit our instability, especially during the afternoon. Be breezy by the late afternoon with a high of 81 degrees, an orange for precipitation, yellow for lightning winds and ceilings. But in our next seven days, we're going to have our warmest day today at 91. Friday is going to be a high of 87 uh, with the afternoon convection. Should limit our high in the uh, upper 80s. However, if we don't see uh, the convection build as expected during the early portion of the afternoon on Friday, I won't be surprised if we see a high in the lower 90s once again. Moving on to the weekend, we're going to have that high build down from the north. It's going to give us northeasterly flow or onshore flow, keeping our temperatures in the lower 80s to upper 70s. A chance of rainfall both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, thunderstorms, better chance of thunderstorms on Saturday than in Sunday, although both days look like just a slight chance of occurring. Monday, we'll have a warm front move through. Could give us a scattered shower or thunderstorm during the morning and afternoon hours. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll have uh, temperatures in the mid-80s. Uh, more humid conditions and our eyes will turn to the tropics by the middle portion of next week as we do have Hurricane Florence out in the open Atlantic currently. It's a category three hurricane at 115 mile an hour sustained winds, a minimum, minimum pressure of 964. It's currently moving to the northwest at 10 knots. Looking at the National Hurricane Track, it's going to take it off to the uh, west northwest and then off to the west during the uh, weekend. And then uh, finally turning back to the west-northwest, we move into early portion of next week. It looks like it will weaken into a, a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane during uh, Friday through the weekend, and then re-strengthen as it gets uh, towards the early portion of next week. You can see here the Hurricane uh, Center does have uh, Bermuda just outside the cone of uncertainty of their track. Uh, we move into early portion of next week. Looking at a few of the... Uh, tracks in a, in a minute, but we'll first look at the uh, satellite image uh, from our GO-16 satellite and see uh, Florence's weakening as it has been affected by some southwesterly shear and uh, wouldn't be surprised if the next update is a Category 2 hurricane instead of a Category 3. But as I mentioned, we'll look at these uh, hurricane tracks. These are the latest hurricane tracks. This is 12Z today. This is the official hurricane center track right here. While most of the uh, guidance is off to the north and west, Today will be an important day to track Florence as it will be uh, is forecasted to go to more towards the west than the northwest. If it continues with a northwesterly jog, uh, we could see the models trend more towards the northwest. But we'll continue to monitor this uh, today uh, with the track, and uh, it is expected to go more off to the west as we move into Friday and through the weekend. And that should allow for the hurricane to move south of Bermuda as we move into early next week. Uh, we'll continue to, to track Florence. Uh, through uh, the next several days as it uh, does move off to the west. Here's the uh, intensity forecast or guidance. It does appear that it, uh, it will weaken to a category two today, possibly a category one tomorrow, but then once we move in the weekend and early next week, it appears that uh, Florence will once again uh, strengthen into a major hurricane and uh, will be uh, moving over a low shear environment with very warm ocean temperatures. So it looks like it's a good chance of this hurricane strengthening once again we move into early next week. Well, that's going to complete the 10 a.m. weather briefing. We'll continue to track Florence through the next several days and give any updates if needed for Bermuda or Wallops. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. dependent upon the Aspire launch. Hope everybody has a great day.